Service team and Chad, one of the main things that you guys do is restoration, whether it be fire restoration, water rest restoration, things like that. And that is a big part of your business, isn't it? It is. The, the structure part is a really big mm -hmm. part of our business. Like, you know, washing walls, right. rebuilding walls, um, making people whole again in terms of a house. Okay, you've been around this business for a very long time. Would you say when people have a situation with a fire or water damage that the initial thought is, now we need to replace all this stuff? On the contents end, yes. And sometimes on the house too, but today we're gonna to talk more about the contents. We have a special team, we're in their office or mm -hmm. their location today, dealing with or talking about what they deal with in contents restoration. Okay, and basically what they do is take damaged materials and, and bring them back to life. Yes, assess and bring back what makes financial sense. Okay, so what would you say as far as the amount or the percentage of things that can be saved as opposed to being replaced? And this is what we're looking at right here, and I'm just going to step over here for a second. What we're looking at here is boxes and boxes of someone who's got some damaged material that they brought to Aero Service Team to be restored. Yeah, these are like big moving crates that we, you know, like, the door is closed on that one. We, we'd basically go out and pack up someone's house in these crates. We have hundreds of these. Right. And you know, any house, more, most houses take anywhere from four to 12 of these crates to pack all their stuff in, right? So this one's full of stuff from a project that actually, I don't know if you can see this, it was a furnace malfunction where everything got really, really sooty. Wow. And that wasn't from a fire, that's just from damage from the diesel in the, in the furnace, right? Yeah, the, the furnace had a malfunction, and you can totally see that the chimney wasn't working yep, properly yep. and things like that. So we can have a little. Um, but yeah, that's primarily what we focus on over here. Um, when you're talking about contents again, well, there's a lot of things that can be repurchased, mm -hmm. but there's things that certainly can't be repurchased. Right, and, and photo albums are one thing. Yeah, and this is certainly one thing that there's just no amount of money that can replace a photo of, per se, grandma or great grandma or right. you know, whatever. And, and, you know, Chad drew pretty hard on the cover of that, but I, my, all I did was pick it up to look at it, and the, the, the soot is, is quite prevalent there. Would you, find, would you find, Chad, that people think it's easier just to go and replace? Well, the, the insurance environment has changed a lot in the last 20, 25 mm -hmm. years, probably even more in the last five years. And sometimes there's a lot of sediment that says, just go buy new stuff if you have something like right. this happen. Well, there's some things that need to be considered on that aspect. One, you're not going to you know, buy a photo of grandma again. Exactly right. Well, I mean, <laughs> unless you're very popular, yeah. there's a possibility. Yep. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Um, the, the other things are is like, you know, think about like your, your, your automobile. You mm -hmm. know, if you're in a car accident, you just don't get a new one. You know, you get an estimate, you mix, what makes financial sense. And that's what we do at the contents part of our business is we do what makes financial sense. You know, generally you can clean stuff for anywhere from 15 to 25% of replacement. Really? So, so it is It is more economical if you can, if it's not a total loss, that they, that they can refurbish it rather than replace it. Let me ask you this, how you guys go out there and, you, and you'll tell someone, yeah, we can save this stuff, right? We will, and if it's questionable, we'll do some sampling and see how things turn out before we commit to large quantities of mm -hmm. things. You know, you can take a few things and see how things will turn out. Does okay. that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Now you talked about all these crates and this is just one client's stuff that was damaged. So you will go out there and say, yes, they can be refurbished, this can't, or how do you go, but what's your initial response when a situation like this comes up? An initial response to something like this is we go out, we have technology that does like a 360 photo of like every room, Okay. take a picture of everything in every room before it's touched. So we have documentation of what's there, what's like damaged what's damaged from the fire, what had a nick before, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll go through and do a little sampling if it's questionable um, and be able to decide what makes sense to pack out or clean on site and bring back to, you know, its previous glory. It's almost like, and I, and I use this term loosely, it's almost like a crime scene where you document everything so that you can go back to it and, and look at it and say, yes, this will work. 
Yeah, we uh, we document very closely on the uh, the stuff in the home before anything's disrupted, primarily for our personal documentation, their documentation, invoicing, and the amount of storage we need so we can kind of gauge everything at once. Okay, now we're talking about myths, and one of the myths is that it is probably cheaper or more convenient to replace than it is to restore. Let's talk about insurance, okay? okay? You and I were talking about this, and you told me a story about uh, someone who renters insurance, or if you're if you're in a condo, it's fairly inexpensive, but you can really, really save yourself a whole lot of money if you have that kind of insurance. Yeah, and that's one thing that I've gone around and I preached and preached like a broken record is, if you have a home or if you rent a home or you live in an apartment, mm -hmm. having renters insurance to cover one, your personal liability, and two, your personal property is very key because if you do not own that home, you still need to have insurance for your own stuff. Like if you rent, if you rent from me, mm -hmm. I'm not going to insure your personal property. Exactly. Okay. It's easy to say this, but a lot of times, or sometimes people will look for cut rates and things like that. You're saying go with a reputable company. I would say go with a reputable company. I'm not going to say which company right. or anything like that. But I will tell you that I would recommend you talk to a local agent familiar with your state, with your city, with your living environment, and what you personally have going on to make sure you have something that fits your needs. Well, not only that, when, when disaster happens and you need to contact somebody, somebody that's down the street or across town is more likely going to be able to respond to you in a timely manner than, than someone that you, you're just a voice on the phone. Exactly. And that happens with whatever part of insurance is just reality. Okay. We're running short on time here and we, we showed you the come with me, Chad. I want you to, if you could show us what, what the end product is here. This is something that you guys did the well, restoration. I on, believe correct? this, uh, this photo album was just as dirty as the other one. Obviously now we're, uh, we're, we're soot free. We just kind of went through. Um, cleaned everything up. Like you could see that diesel fuel set wiped off pretty easily. Yeah, okay, so not only the plastic covering, but you guys go through each and every individual picture to, to bring that back to life. Yeah, well. in this situation we did, yes. Okay, all right, tell me about Aero Service Team, where we can contact you and, and all the services that you provide. Uh, we're in Bismarck and Dickinson, and Bismarck we're on Broadway, and Dickinson we're on the east side of town. Uh, you can go to our website, aeroserviceteam.com, get all us on Facebook or you can give us a call at 223-9249. All right, I'll tell you what, walking into this building and, and seeing what the work that is done here, very impressive. I guess I didn't realize what was all entailed in, in getting it where it needs to be again. You guys you guys do a great job. Well, thank you. This is this building we're really proud of. This is kind of a state-of-the-art facility yeah. specifically designed for property restoration, contents cleaning. Chad Lyer, Aero Service Team, thank you for your time. We're going to take a break. We're back with more North Dakota Today right after this.